Good morning. I am Rabbi Dennis Sasso of Congregation Beth El Tzedek in Indianapolis. And we are here in our synagogue's Simon Meditation Garden. Today, we usher Elul, the last month of the Jewish calendar. So we turn our gaze to a new year, to our unfinished agenda, to our urgent tasks. The shofar, which is blown during the month of Elul in anticipation of Rosh Hashanah, is both an alarm and a siren, a wake-up call and a cautionary sign. The shofar's very shape is a reminder of its purpose. It begins narrow and it ends wide. It fulfills the biblical verse, out of the narrows I called unto you and you answered me with great openness. The shofar is bent. It reminds us that we offer our prayer with humility. Now the sounds of the shofar evoke different moods. There is tikiyah, a loud cry, and then shivarim, three broken wailing strains, and then teruah, nine staccato sobs. And we conclude with tikiyah gedolah, the great tikiyah, the sound of joy and of gratitude. May our hopes and our prayers, our laments and our affirmations, our cries, and our shouts of joy of the past year yield to a new year of health, of goodness, of sweetness, and of peace for us, for our families, for our congregation, for the Jewish people, for America, and for all humanity. May we be inscribed for a new year of goodness, of sweetness, of blessing. Amen. There are different types of shofars. They must come from a kosher, bovid animal. Most use is the ram's horn because it alludes to the story of Genesis 22 of Isaac and the ram's horn caught by the thicket, which is red on Rosh Hashanah. But other communities use different types of shofars. This is from a kudu, and it is typical of the Yemenite community, and it has become very popular among modern Jewish communities. We blow a kudu shofar here at Congregation Beth El Tzedek. I will blow the tikiya, the shivarim, Teruah and Tekiyagidola in sequence. No blessing is offered during the month of Elul for the blowing of the shofar. We will offer a blessing before the blowing in fulfillment of the mitzvah when it is blown on Rosh Hashanah. May we be inscribed through a year of health, of sweetness, of goodness, and of peace. Amen.